I feel like I want to express of how I feel inside, like a fantasy character. So that's why plastic surgery is a very, very important part of my transformation. I usually spend around two hours a day to do my makeup until it looks exactly as I want. And I try to make it look as natural as possible, but at the same time looking fake as a fantasy being. Hello everybody, my name is Luis Padron, the human elf, or how they call me on the internet, the plastic prince. I am undergoing plastic surgery to become a real-life fantasy being. I call myself Plastic Prince because it's a mix between fairy tales and the modern world that it's full of plastic. This highlighter in my nose will make it look more smaller and pointy. I have around 40 procedures in total. Some of them are really big and some of them are really small. I have spent around 60k use US dollars in total. Plastic surgery is incredibly popular in Louis Padron's home country of Argentina, but wanting to look like an elf is altogether less common. Under these prosthetic elf ears, I have my real ears shaped more pointy like an elf. I have my eyes done, I changed the eye color six times now, I did my nose two times, uh, fillers in my whole face multiple times. The last one was very heavy, it was my entire jawline reshape. They had to cut the bone in four parts, then they remove a little part from the bone and then they make it really sharp like a diamond. Some surgeries hurt a lot. <laughs> I have to admit that sometimes I am like, I can't stand it, but it's a part of the journey. Oh, my family, <laughs> they didn't like it at first. Um, they were scared of what I wanted to do, but then I did my first surgery, then I did my second surgery and my third surgery, and they were like, we can't stop him. When we were kids, he always had his hair in different colors. He used to wear as extravagant clothes, and it was very funny because Eh, tenía siete años y tenía el pelo azul y andaba con remeras de con remeras de estampada y como que era gracioso y divertido. As a child, I love fantasy movies, uh, also fantasy books like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. When I was a teenager, I I found these creatures from Love and Light called Pleiadians. They are perfect human beings from the space. <laughs> they are a mix between elf and aliens. They are very pale, they are very tall, they have this silver long hair, big big eyes, and I took them as, as the icon I want to become. It's not just plastic surgery that helps Louis achieve his elfish looks. I use a lot of designer clothing, I use a lot of unique pieces, they are one of a kind. I wanted to do a hair transplant, so I have to cut it and let it grow black. So to keep maintaining my elf look, I started using white wigs. I don't use the wigs that often unless it's a special occasion. I have a huge collection of 500 contact lenses and I use them all the time. I have different models, different colors. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of them. These are one of my favorites, the Sclera lens. They gives me this, this fantasy look, this strange, outwardly look that I love. This may be too much for the doctors, so I will change the model. Now I need the kiss. And goodbye, fantasy world and hello real world. <laughs> there are certain activities that 
I can't do when I do plastic surgery. For example, uh, when I did my jaw, I have to eat one month only liquids. It was very hard for me because I love eating. The reaction in public is really... Some are good, some are bad, but most of them are just <laughs> they, they usually want to take pictures, take selfies with me, they treat me very well, like a real prince, so I'm okay with that. The people is really, really nice on the internet. Some of them are nasty, but I think the problem is not with me, it is with them. Hola, Dr. Miño. ¿Cómo le va? Llegué a la zona donde habíamos acordado que iba a ser el turno. We arrived at the doctor's place, so we are going to have the meeting now. I hope everything goes well. Let's see if I can have the surgery I want. It was to the other side. Esperen un segundo que estoy re perdido. ¿Esto sube o baja? ¿Baja segura? No, baja para allá. Sí, baja para allá. Today, Louis has an appointment with a plastic surgeon about tightening the skin around his face following his latest jaw surgery. I still have some surgeries on the way to become what I want to become. Uh, I still need some liftings, then an Adam's apple reduction, cut eyes, another eye color change, and then some more fillers, another nose job maybe, and I can be done with that. I also want to add some fangs to my teeth. Lo habrás notado que mucha gente lo que quiere es algo natural. Yo quiero algo totalmente lo contrario. Uh -huh. Por mí, si se nota que es cirugía plástica y que sea algo extremo, a mí me encanta. Seguro. Pero una cosa importante es que vos tenés una idea en la cabeza. Extrema, pero también yo tengo que saber qué tipo de idea extrema. Nosotros necesitamos entender hacia dónde va tu ideal Para de logro. Uh, I never has uh, an elf patient who a, a person who, who wants to become an, an elf is I, I think it's a, it's a privilege and it's a very tempting to, to, to perform the surgery uh, because uh, this is the, the first time ever I, I have this opportunity. Estoy muy orgullosa de él porque él hace, se muestra tal cual es y no le importa lo que digan los demás, que eso la verdad que está buenísimo, eh, que haga y que se vista como él quiere y haga lo que lo hace feliz. I really don't dress like this to provoke a reaction. I dress like this because I like to look like this for me and not for the others. It is important for me because I feel like I want to express of how I feel inside, like a fantasy character, and I want to, to take this to the outside world. 